Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Escalon Book 1. Uh, you may notice immediately that the map looks really nice now. I don't know if more more uh, levels in cartography will actually add more details to the map, but we have, in addition to having multiple colors, and I guess that must have been that must be what what was added with the uh, fourth skill point. We now see uh, things like this here. This is a, a sort of fence, I think. So, I guess transparent or see-through. Um, things, structures, get marked in this lighter brown as opposed to the darker color for impassable walls and the darker color is also used for the rocks down by the coast for example. Uh, so I actually went ahead and spent quite quite a bit more time than I really should have. Definitely a lot more than I needed to, um, which would have been none at all. But uh, I, just, I was just listening to an audiobook while just meticulously walking through every single of the, thankfully not that many maps. I, I didn't go to all the dungeons, but I did go uh, re-explore every bit of every map that we had been to. Well, except for, I guess there are still tiny little corners that I didn't fully map out. We have not fully explored this map yet with the cemetery, um, but that's not what I want to do today. Today I want to triple down here, and yeah, you can see that, I mean, this is so nice just to be able to see the river here. It makes such a huge difference. But for now, I want to hopefully kill some of these undead. Let's see here. Oh, wait. What? Wait, no. Okay, it's 68% for me, 61 for him. Or it's, it's not great. And then we have a 28% chance to not get diseased. I'm not sure if every single one of their attacks... Oh. Right. I keep misjudging diagonal distances also. I don't know if every single normal attack from these corpses has a chance to disease. Okay. So far so lucky. 85%... Uh, 85 experience, not bad. Huh? Skeletal remains. Oh, okay. Which can be looted. Oh, well, we got lucky with these first two guys. Lord Radford, okay. Lord Papeldom? Papeldom? Someone obviously broke in here, so... Lord Archibald. Looks like we'll, we'll be able to explore this place. Whether, whether we should do that now is uh, a different matter. The entrance to the ossuary seems to have been destroyed, probably kicked in by thieves trying to gain entry. However, you find it a bit discouraging, disconcerting that the remains of the door actually appear to have broken outward and now lay about the yard. Yes, I uh, did actually notice that. But we also saw the undead walking around here, so maybe that's not such a big surprise after all. From here you see that the entry hall into the ossuary is a gradually descending slope that disappears into pitch darkness deep underground. Sweet. Let's quickly check the rest of the graves here. Baron Edwards. Count Vladimir. Hmm. And Lord Radley. What? Ah, stupid shrub. Come on. Thankfully, at this point, the damage those things deal is pretty negligible. We did lose a good amount of, or I guess a bad amount of health against those couple of undead. Let's see if we can squeeze in a quick rest. Daylight is not going to matter while we're underground anyway, so I can't just do this. We do not have a lot of healing. Or really any other resources. Well, we have plenty of torches at least, so that's nice. But oh, pff, derp. Okay, let's take a look in here. Thankfully, mapping works just fine despite not being able to see anything. I mean, I I can kind of see. This is definitely not as dark as some other places have been. This entry chamber seems to be a sort of waiting room where remains are stored until caretakers can move the bones and deep uh, move the bones deeper into the ossuary. With no one tending to the ossuary anymore, thieves have uh, viciously, viciously, Vis viscously, viciously raided this area, scattering bones everywhere. At the opposite side of the entry chamber is a doorway. Blood has been smeared across its threshold. 
a common warning practice meant to keep restless souls from exiting. It is also regarded as a warning sign for the for the living to stay away. Well, fair enough. Right. Let's make some light of the situation. Should I even pick up these skulls? I mean, I really shouldn't. They're really not worth enough. But oh well. Okay, just a small chamber up to the side here. I guess I'm not gonna pick up everything, like the skull, for example. Only things that are really, you know, at least somewhat worth it. Oh! Hello. Oh, of course. Freaking dungeon fever. I mean, it's it's unfortunate. I really don't want to do this, but I feel like there is no alternative. I, I cannot just take the take the disease and keep going. It's too expensive to get rid of. I'm completely broke right now. If I want to make any profit from this expedition, and I kind of do. Well, I mean, I didn't mean to save scum these uh, this loot here. Really, hardly my fault that uh, it gets re-randomized from just loading the game. I could really cheese it if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. See, I'm gonna save here. Yes, and that always spawns the zombie. Good to know. Two misses in a row. Oh no, so close. Ah man. Doesn't feel great. I don't and the worst thing is I don't even know if there's ever gonna be a uh, more reliable method to deal with these. I mean I guess ultimately they're gonna have a much lower hit chance, and I will have a much better hit chance, and also much better damage, so I'll kill them more quickly, but there's always gonna be some remaining risk. Okay, so looting items apparently does take time. Good to know. I guess eventually I will have ways to, to deal with disease. Maybe a spell to cure myself? Or maybe I'll be able to make those curing potions for myself. Uh, the longer, what? The larger inner chamber is an area of general bone storage. To the left and right sides of this long room are shelves packed tight with human remains. Cool. We have to imagine that, but that's okay. Um, this corridor is only one tile wide, isn't it? Yes. Perfect. Oh, you know what? I'm also. I forgot that I'm not using my shield. That said, is it better to fight them in the dark with my shield? Hmm. Probably? Maybe? Let's give it a try. Thirty-four. And he just walked away. Ooh, because I'm hidden in shadow. He lost track of me. That's actually kind of hilarious. Okay, I mean, this kind of works, almost. Not really. Uh, I mean, the chances are pretty, pretty even, even in darkness. <laughs> wow, they just don't see me. They instantly notice me when I actually hit them, which, you know, kind of makes sense. Yeah. 
And then that happens. Yeah, well... Honestly, I might as well be keep, uh, keep my torch out. Because, in the end, we're gonna have pretty even chances of hitting each other. One way or the other. Okay. Come on, switch toward me. I mean, the difference is arguably a bit larger in my favor with no light out. But the combat is also going to take five times as long. I don't know. I'm almost tempted to just suck up the, the, the disease, but I really can't justify doing that. Um, maybe I should leave and try this later. I really don't feel good safe scumming this. And I wish there were more tactical um, options. There really aren't, though. I mean, I don't know, maybe this place isn't terribly large? Although it probably is, to be honest. It feels like this is only the beginning of a pretty major dungeon. And I really don't want to Saves come my way through all of it. Like this. That does not feel right. Damage me all you like, but please don't disease me. Hit points are low. That's fine. That's kind of okay. We got lots more undead. And those side chambers. Oh. That is not actually fine. This wall appears to be newer than the surrounding walls. Bricks and mortar on the ground leads you to believe that someone has recently sealed this passage. The wall feels solid and would take days to smash apart. You would be better off finding another way. Is that so? Huh. Oh wait, this opened. I'm pretty sure this wasn't open before. Maybe it was. This was. This is closed. Okay. Maybe that's what I remember seeing. Huh. Okay. There's a passage here. There's a passage here. And there are those two, uh, three guys. All right. There's also light in the middle there. I forgot that. Ha! Huh. Now you can't see me. Wait. You totally can't see me. Are you sure you can see me? Because. You really shouldn't be able to see me. Oh, and this is when they decided to walk away. Okay, cool. You know what? This may be the first time where I'm actually kind of glad that I'm... that I have those stealth skills. I am going to keep this place in mind and... and look around somewhere else first. I'm going to explore the overworld part of this map with my shield in hand. I'm going to do some resting when it gets dark or when I encounter enemies that I feel like I should fight. For now, let's look around here. I'm going to try to suppress my OCD. Uh, as much as possible when it comes to exploring the every last little corner, mapping every list, little last corner on the map here. Mm, uh, yeah, let's prioritize east to west, maybe. Because, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've been everywhere around here. Okay, there's some sort of house with a dead body. Not an uncommon sight around here. Nothing in there. Hmm. 
This looks harmless enough. Yet another unfortunate casualty of this war. A simple homeowner murdered in his house. His head smashed open and everything of value taken. Bloody footprints throughout the house suggest a band of thugs committed this act within the last two days. Okay, what's it say here? Home sweet home. Well... Copper hammer. Should probably keep this around. Oh, I also have this axe. I guess it ultimately doesn't really matter all that much. Maybe I'll keep this hammer around for smashing things. Although a heavier two-handed hammer or axe might actually work better. Scroll off cat's eyes. Well, I can't use that yet. Maybe I will eventually. Didn't they say that everything of value had been taken? Because it certainly doesn't feel that way. Salt is just miscellaneous? Okay, I guess it's rather valuable. I suppose that makes sense. In a medieval kind of world. Okay. Let's squeeze through here. It looks like this might lead deeper into the forest. Yep, sure enough. Okay, cool. So this is a way into Tangle Tree Forest. And it is getting dark. This should lead... Oh, get more of those guys. Yeah. I definitely, if I want to deal with those, and I kind of do, hopefully it's not more than one or two of them again. Um, yeah, then I should definitely, I definitely need more hit points before I can even think about doing that. Honestly, I don't know, how much damage would I take on average against one of those? Probably more than even half my hit points, to be honest. I'll go with 60 if I can... oh, well... I was gonna say, I guess I'll make it through the night if I can. Oh. Two thugs? Ha. Huh. Suckers, you can't even see me. I mean, they literally cannot see me at this point. Now he can. <laughs> I mean, nope. He still can't because I completely missed him. Wow. <laughs> what? I hit, but no damage incurred. Interesting. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> and they immediately see me, and now they don't. <laughs> this is kind of silly. Again, I really wish there was some sort of backstabbing mechanic. And immediately they can both see me. Or I guess hear me, if nothing else. Come on. Slightly ridiculous. Seriously? I won in three hit chance and I hit maybe every fifth. One miss, two misses. Three misses. Four misses. Five misses. One hit. One miss. Okay. One miss. Two misses. Uh, I don't know. I, I guess it does average out there. Man. This does not feel great. What? More space? Even more space? There we go. Ah. Uh. And all this just to be able to throw myself and smash my face against those those bugs for no real reason, other than they exist and I want them dead. Let's see if we can make it through this night. Well, yeah. 
We did. Okay, that bug is still there. I only see that one. Okay. Really? Oh, we are also down to eight arrows. Target is obscured by what? <laughs> well, this was a big waste of arrows. But I tried. Nice crit. Unfortunately. Oh, it's running away. Oh, please. It's not helping. I can never catch up to it. I only have, like, what? Two arrows? There's literally no way I can... Even if I could hit it, which I can't. I avoided the splash. Amazing. I actually won. And avoided the splash of acid. Holy crap. Was it worth it? I mean, no. Not at all. But... It kind of feels good. Even though it's pure luck. And now I really don't have any arrows anymore, and I am going to get ambushed by something. Uh, maybe I should just quick travel back to Aridel, sell some stuff, rest, quick travel back here. Oh. Hey there, person. Hold on just a second. So much more worth it. Just for the for the time you save. Okay. <laughs> so that was the bad news is there was at least one more grub. I did see that. I really was not expecting that one to just start running away. Or I guess crawling away very slowly, but just fast enough for me not to be able to catch up. Oh, I did not even see this one. Wait, is it, what am I doing? It's... Brought daylight. Okay. And here I'm going to lose all of that sweet health again. Oh, come on. You're dead. We both know it. Yep. Down to 10 hit points. Sweet. Oh, I don't want to. This is... We're at a stalemate here. I'm never going to catch up to you. How? This is ridiculous. Oh, come on. It's never gonna work out. And now he's gonna return and he's gonna hit me and kill me. And no, I'm not going to drink a potion. I refuse. There we go. Freaking finally. Okay. Let's try this again. And I mean, I don't know what I'm expecting camping out in the in the forest like this for several days at a time. Obviously, all kinds of hostile creatures would sneak up on me. 
Or, you know, no sneaking required, just find my tent out in the open like this. Uh. Three of them. Okay, time to experiment. Time to find out if leaving the map will make enemies despawn. It does not. Well, that is a little bit unfortunate, isn't it? Can I rest here? I sure can. Now, of course, as soon as enemies spawn on this side, um, like so. Oh, also, actually, one of them spawned literally inside of me. That's cool. I'm getting wrecked. Dropped an item, though. I kind of want that. Um, I mean, it's not really worth it. <sighs> yep, they're right here. Sure enough. This is... Ah, uh, man, I don't know. Is this leading anywhere? Not really. Uh, I... There we go. Uh, we made some money. Actually, I kind of forgot that we didn't really pick up a whole lot in terms of things to sell. Uh, you would probably be interested in the salt, maybe? Yes. Ten bucks. Not a whole lot. Uh, I mean, I could sell these scrolls. Which, being divination, I don't even know. I mean, this is... If, if it's a miracle that affects myself, even if it's a spell that I cast, uh, is it is it gonna work? Like, is the cat's eye scroll gonna work on me, even if I did have 10 wisdom? I have a feeling like it probably isn't going to work in the first place. So... And even then, it's not that great. And I do have an option to use potions for that. Maybe I'll hold on to this. I do have some money right now. I could use that to buy some healing potions. For what it's worth. I could buy, um, buy the Willow Sap. It's not really worth it in terms of the materials I'll use, but I, since I have some sulfur, or do I? Wait, I don't even have any sulfur, never mind. If I had some sulfur already, I guess it would be okay to spend 19 for a willow sap instead of 30 or 29 for a healing elixir. Let's buy three more. Actually, hold on. Uh, cure lesser disease is 216, that's so ridiculous. It's actually ridiculous. Mana cash. Perception plus two. Wisdom plus two. Meh. Meh. Okay, well. Sure. Let's buy this one. Let's buy. Two more from this deck, because why not? Sure. This here. I really wish I would just stack with things I already have in my belt, but oh well. And I'm gonna spend 15 more gold to actually just get healed. Just to save some time and nerves. Can I really not talk to you from there? Also, am I not some kind of local hero already for how many people I helped? It would be nice if they let, let me stay here for free, but no such luck. Okay, well, that was... that all worked out very nicely. I guess we... Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> we didn't really achieve much, did we? Or I didn't. Wait. How is there... I guess I just never walked here. Alright. 
So, I mean, I guess now that I have full health, I can... I could make my way up there and probably kill that grub. And then hope to not have anything destroyed by the poison, uh, by, the, by the acid. Before I do that, though... Okay, actually, there isn't anything here. But the path does continue in that direction. There might be something more over that way. Maybe some more thugs, another one of their hideouts that I could clean out. I wonder also if it might actually be worth returning to an abandoned house like that and rest in there, if that actually reduces chances to to get ambushed. Oh, oh. Even more grubs. Wonderful. I think only one of them saw me, so... Let's do this. Do I have my shield? I do. 15. 11. Oh no. This is really bad. If I get really lucky... Oh no, I'm taking way too much damage. This is just not gonna work. This is terrible. I I mean, I don't know. I suppose the game is telling me that I'm... that I should go look for... somewhere else to go. Maybe I should take a look at uh, Grimhold. Uh, which I think... I've heard mentioned that it's... That there are goblins there? I mean, I don't know, maybe goblins goblins don't sound so bad. Maybe they're easier to deal with than the than the thugs are. And I'm dead. Hmm. Clearly doesn't feel like I'm on the same level as these grubs. But, I mean, if I'm going to fight one of them, it should probably be the one up here, which might be the last one in that area. Since I did make some progress into that part of the map, I want to maybe find find out what there is. If, unlike these two grubs here, maybe the ones up there are guarding something. Okay. There it is. Come on, please. Fourteen. Oh, no. 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 Wow. I'm taking way too much damage. And I'm not hitting this thing. Ever. And I'm dead. Wow. Two whole hits. This is, uh... I mean, the odds are definitely not stacked in my favor. 22. That being said, at 44% hit chance, I am getting exceptionally unlucky with my hits, I feel. Just about every other hit should actually connect, but they certainly don't. You know what? Let's do it. Let's drink this. 68. I mean, that's better. Worth it? Not at all. I avoided it. Good to know. There is another one. And there is, like, three more. Got any more grubs, maybe? Holy crap. And there is nothing here? Come on, man. Don't do this to me. Wait, there's... oh. A tree? That's actually a container? I'm also dead. Huh. Intriguing. Intriguing. Get it? That's certainly not the one I meant to load. Thank you. There we go. Okay, um... I guess we don't do that. Grubs are definitely way outside of my league. Or I am outside of theirs. That much is certain. So, well, I don't know. I guess I'll carefully, cautiously 
start exploring the forest, the northern part of the forest, or the central part. Central. It is called Central Tangle Tree Forest. Although, that being said, I man, I wish I could. I wish I could point at the map. It's kind of unfortunate that there isn't a most cursor on the screen. I mean, right now. The uh, Tangle Tree Osiri map is should should go north, pretty much uh, just underneath where it says Whistling Cove, right? So we're currently on the map, pretty much centered on where it says Great Tangle Tree Forest, since uh, the map to the east of here is where Eridel is, and that that goes to just above Grimhold. So yeah, this is actually. I guess Tangle Tree is really mostly three maps. This one being the center, one with Lake Atria above here, and then the one with Tangle Tree Ossuary, which has a little bit of forest, I guess. So yeah, this is definitely where we'll find that uh, that lady, Lilith, somewhere in here, if we can make it that far. Hello. Oh, flies of some sort. Ooh, hive drone. I'm smelling poison, by the way, but at least those things are relatively easy to kill. They certainly don't have a lot of health. But I would not be surprised if they start literally swarming me and trying to overwhelm me, over overwhelm me with numbers. But, oh yeah, there is somewhere. Okay. Come down here, please. Um, but maybe I have much better chances of acquiring those larvae from these bees, wasps, wasps, bees, wasps, I don't know, something like that. <laughs> Haven't been poisoned yet. Probably shouldn't say such a thing. Of leather skin, okay. Another one that might not actually work on me. I mean, I don't. The thing is, I don't know if every single uh, divine spell is automatically considered a miracle. I mean, probably though. So this, I don't know. This this might not work on me because I'm an atheist. Huh? Oh, almost did not see you there. Another one. Oh no. This is not great. Oh, what? Excuse me? Obviously I'm never going to going to shake them. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. Drinking these potions in combat is just not worth it because they just don't heal far enough. I was getting ahead of myself by running after that one that, w that flew away. Shouldn't have done that. I was getting careless. I probably also should have bought a couple more arrows to at least have a chance to take out a, a fleeing enemy like that. And of course, now I'm not going to get anything worthwhile out of this. Yep, <laughs> two gold pieces. I mean, that's my own damn fault for not only being careless, but also not even saving the game. 
pretty silly. Okay. There they both come. What? Oh, god damn it. Me misjudging diagonal distances again. And enemy surviving with one hit point again. Well, okay. Technically, against a single enemy, I could have tried drinking a potion. Maybe I should have. Oh, it's seven points? Really? Okay. That time I really was expecting to survive that, but was not seeing... didn't see that seven damage hit coming. Fourteen. Okay. Things were looking so so hopeful. But I guess I really can fight multiple enemies at once, ever. It's just... Not gonna work out for me. I mean... Okay, sure. One hit point, please. Okay. That's the one that was hurt. The question is whether it's going to know exactly where I am, even if I walk away. I'm gonna rest here. How about that? If the enemy heals in the meantime as well, that's fine. It's only fair. Really? One of these guys. Two of these guys. Uh, really? Okay. Um, I mean, this is not going to be okay at all. I don't want to fight two at the same time. Yeah, I'm dead. God damn it. Dying way too much. It's not great. <sighs> Come on. Seriously? Three of them? How many is it this time? Two. And I'm hidden in shadows, like you don't know where I am. Idiots. What? How do you even see? like two. Well, this is, it just isn't worth it. It's not worth my time, or anyone's time. It definitely feels like this area has a higher danger index or something, making enemies spawn much, much more reliably while trying to rest. I really hope that's not a thing and I'm just being unlucky. Well, oh, come on. Ah, oh, almost. Well, I mean, not really almost, but 
I did land such a nice hit on that one guy. And then, of course, he wasn't dead. Let's see if I can make it through this one night. Nope. Nope, not at all. Eight point eight hours. Of those two hours walking around, re exploring the map, and four hours resting. Trying to rest repeatedly. Well, not really, but certainly sometimes feels that way. You know what? Save the game. That's just a couple more hours, there we go. Well, wow. 58 hit points. Not terrible. We can work with that. I hope. I would really like to make it to... to Lilith, wherever she may be. No. I think I may have alerted more than one bee. Yep, sure did. It's so hard to tell if there are any... Any bottlenecks? I don't think there are. No. They can definitely both attack me except one. Got scared. Nice. Okay, sure. Come here. Maybe by the time I'm done with this one, the scared one is gonna Oh, it did not it did not heal. Did I save? I guess I did. Okay. Hmm. Hello? Path continues for a long time. I really wish I had first finished off exploring that path. Because I feel like that's probably a a dead end. Oh, there's also... Might connect over here, actually. Sure does. Okay. Oh! Come on. Come on! That crit came a bit too late, but okay. We did survive. Three hit points. All I need. Okay, I really need to get rid of this low health sound, though. It's kind of obnoxious. gone now. It's almost night too, but maybe... Oh no, it's actually getting dark already. <laughs> One hit away from death. Oh. Well, it could have worked. Okay, let's try this again. Nope. Nope. Oh, okay. Nice. See, that's what I'm talking about. Oh. Interesting. Where's this go? Western Tanglewood. Okay, so this is actually... Huh. Well, I guess there is a little bit left. A little bit of forest left. Hmm. So this is toward the, uh, the desert, huh? The Goblin Lands. It's definitely not a place I want to be right now. But good to know.
No. Also, I need to at least make sure it's bright enough to see again. Twenty-nine hit points. Not ideal, but might be enough to kill a single bee like this one. Oh, especially if it's one that I've already heard. This one seemed to have regained some hit points, though. Interesting. So, the direction that enemies are facing seems to actually play a role. Oh. This is not great. Uh oh. This is really not good. Both of them coming. Should I quick save? Chances of actually defeating both with 20 hit points? Kind of slim. You know what? I'm gonna save and drink a potion. That's what I have them for anyway. Specifically bought them to drink them and I was getting as unlucky as possible against this guy. Okay, cool. Uh, well, let's try that right again. Right away, again. Right again, away. Again, right away. Right away. Jesus. Jesus! What is going on? How can I be this unlucky? It's ridiculous. Okay, well, that kind of makes up for it, but not really. <laughs> this looks like it's going to lead straight off the map. And onto a northern Tanglewood Forest, probably. Let's see. If that is correct. Almost didn't see this one coming. And we died. Of course we did. One hit point, huh? Cool. Okay, let's check this out. Northern Tangle Tree. As expected. Getting rid of the, the annoying heartbeat again, I, and I guess I'll kind of have to make it through the first night. Which, if I can do that, Bring me to a kind of okay level of health. No, oh, it's a swamp. Slimes, huh? They're not that bad. Not nearly as bad as they used to be.
still kind of annoying, but 80% versus 48%, uh, 46% certainly feels a lot better than my chances against pretty much any other enemy I've faced so far. So that's neat. Of course, we still have the major disadvantage of... Wait, what? Wait, what? I thought... For a second... Oh, I still have my sword equipped. Weird. It looked like I didn't have my sword anymore, and I thought maybe it spit acid and destroyed my weapon or something. It's crazy how even against these weak slimes, I'm losing so much health. Their range is just incredible. You know what? That's okay. Drink a potion. It's okay if I survive this. I should clarify. I might actually die against this thing. Incredible. Unbelievable. I cannot actually believe that happened. Okay, you know what? Screw those guys. I'm doing a really terrible job finding the heart of the forest and Lilith. I could have reached that place ages ago if I had actually been trying to make that a priority, but obviously I'm not. Here you notice that the ground is littered with the unmistakable remnants of a goblin camp. No. Oh. The bones of small animals, a rusted dagger whose blade has been bent beyond use, and the foul stench of rotten meat and fermented wheat juice. Yes, goblins have passed through here recently, and probably rested in this spot. Hmm. Okay. So either they're in league with this Lilith person, or she's in trouble because she's being attacked by goblins. This looks like it might be her place. Oh. Oh. That's bad. But we finally see our first goblins. Oh no. That's an archer goblin. I don't like that one bit. Sixty-six versus fifty-five, huh? Okay, individually, as suspected, goblins really aren't that bad. Seems like. Yep, well, I mean, coming here with only like 25 health. It's also 29, excuse me. Certainly not ideal. Just the archer, huh? Oh, would you please? Aw, oh, come on. Would have been so perfect. Hmm. one has seen me. Maybe? It's lost me. Oh, there we go. Of course. I mean, if I should expect any kind of enemy to run away from me in fear, then it's goblins, I guess. 55 experience? Okay, fair enough. Still missing quite a bit to the next level up, but we're getting there. I didn't actually lose any health? How's that even possible? I'm pretty sure it actually hit me at least once. Also, I just quick save twice, because why not? Uh oh. I don't know what their range is. But apparently, it's not unlimited. Come on. Uh, well. This is so bad. Oh, 
I also really don't like the fact that they can just shoot me point blank. I'm not sure if I can do that. <sighs> Again. I feel like I probably can't. Well, I mean, that said, I never tried it. There is another one. Of course there is. Okay, let's see if I can maybe satisfyingly shoot him in the back. I could, wow. Can't believe it. Um, switch. Get my shield. Save the game and hope for the best. Hopefully it's only three of them. Oh no, of course. There is at least a fourth one. Oh, but I got really lucky against this guy. Okay, we can do this. Or can we? Come on. One more hit, come on. Oh, come on. There we go. Oof. What have we here? Red, tin ring that's worth basically nothing. Really disappointing. Another goblin right there. Flight arrows, plus one to hit, plus two to damage. Ooh. Somehow I wasn't expecting magical arrows. Okay. Wait, does this heal? What am I doing? It does not heal at all. Oh, wait. I'm done. The goblins have been using this well as a toilet. I wasn't even reading. I have repeatedly drunk from a goblin, uh, from a goblin toilet. Good job, me. But I also have dungeon fever. I'm dumb. I'm even more dumb than I thought. Well, that's fine. That gives me a chance to take less damage on this encounter here, or just die. I guess that's also an option. Or do that. That works. Yes, please. I feel cheated. I got less arrows out of that. Um, okay, survival plus five. Hello. Buying and selling. Well, we saw that before. Also, I know I said I wasn't going to pick up any skulls anymore, but uh, I really do need some money, so... Um... I mean, yeah, armor rating 2, armor rating 1, and this gives me survival. I'm not sure what survival does. Wow, except increase my resistances dramatically. Looks like 1% uh, disease and toxin resistance per level, in addition to the extra um, armor. That's pretty huge. You know what? Even though it's only one more goblin. I really don't want to have to reload anymore, if I can help it. Okay, there we go. And he dropped something for me. Some gold, some oil. What? Oh, this is closed, of course. Oh, what? Move the slider to the proper locking pin? It's a slider lock that can't be picked. Move the slider to the proper pin to release the lock. So we'll have to learn the, the combination, I guess? Is that how it works? Or I could guess? Ten gold pieces. Hmm. Didn't get a message about the former inhabitant of this house, so maybe this isn't Lilith's place at all. Maybe just some random forest dweller? Huh. And here I was getting all excited. Hmm. I don't know, I guess I can try crashing, crashing, crushing this, this barrel here. And we get, oh, 
some good elixirs out of it. Nice. And this is an ingredient, yes. Okay. Um, I mean, I don't know how many sliders there even are. Is it, is it 200. Okay, this is pretty much impossible to... I mean, it's not impossible to brute force. Let's try three. Selected the wrong pin. So I guess... Really? It's, it's easy? So I just need to try a maximum of 200. Start with the highest number. Unless this will lock up at some point. Doesn't seem like it will. But if I really wanted to, it looks like I could just, you know, spend half an hour here and do this until I get the right one. Where was I? Oh god, this is also really finicky. Pixel perfect. Okay, uh, let's not do that then, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, obviously, this is not Lilith's place then. How disappointing. But she must be on this map. I refuse to believe that she's not on this map. So I guess we'll keep looking. Oh. There is a bee. Oh, there's two bees. Uh, 19 hit points. I mean... Should be able to defeat one bee with this much health. Oh no. Okay. Got really lucky there. What is down there? Maybe this is her place. There's some kind of fire. Oh. Oh, it's just a... Oh. That doesn't look so good. Mm, another bee, huh? Too close. Oh. This is just far enough away. Let's rest for one night. Hopefully the last one, and maybe we'll learn who this is. Oh, getting close to the hive, huh? Yeah, this is not going to work out. I didn't... I was getting too hasty again. Too impatient. One at a time, if I want to have any kind of chance. And even then, it's nowhere near guaranteed that we'll win this one. Come on. No. Oh boy. Well. Slowly but truly. Slowly but truly. Now, of course, I wasn't really looking for the, the beehive. That looks like bad news. It sounds like bad news. Unless it's just a matter of uh, putting a torch to it and maybe destroying all the bees in this area for good. Along with a healthy boost of experience. That would be really nice, but I guess I'm really fantasi fantasizing here. Uh, that's probably not got what it, what's going to happen. Instead, it's probably a huge dungeon full of bees with uh, an absolutely undefeatable bee queen boss. Also... 
definitely not going to work. Oh, oh okay. Maybe? There must be more bees here though. Right? Huh, maybe not. Where's the one? Down there. Pretty much have it cornered, so... This kind of situation again, huh? Oh no, it's getting away! <laughs> Get it cornered. Okay. We have another chance. What? Oh. I can't believe it. You freaking jerk. I had three chances to slash at a fleeing, panicking bee, and I didn't make it. Okay. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Actually gonna die against one of these jerks. Oh. I mean, it doesn't look like it's a dungeon. Where's the other one? Okay, they're both here. Yeah, that one's getting away. Cool. Nope. Absolutely no luck whatsoever. And I, I'm really disappointed that I cannot interact with these at all. I would really like to torch them. Stumps are so deceptively blocking my path. <sighs> there we go, finally. Okay, now, what's up with this place? Is there anything up with this place? Please give me the combination to that lock. Gold pieces, a skinning knife. Okay, well. Tattered bridges, which are literally worthless, and nothing else. Oh man, no! How? Why is there nothing to do with these? This doesn't feel right. There should be something. An hour fourteen. I, okay. I guess this is going to be one of those longer episodes because I really want to find Lilith. At least find her place. Maybe I'll stop there. But I really just want to make it there. I, I mean. Where could be the heart of the forest? It's not in the literal center, central area of the central of the central forest, which is kind of surprising, honestly. But it must be on this map, right? There is no way. I mean, I suppose it could be this place. What's it called? The Whistling Cove, or cave? Whistling Cave, probably. It could be. So that should be around here somewhere. Which means that I really should make my way back down and along this path. Although this one might ultimately connect there, but only after going through dozens of additional bees, probably. Oh, there's that slimy swamp that I'm going to leave alone for now. If I could go there with full health, I'm sure I could just slaughter all those slimes without too much difficulty. Probably still losing an unfortunate amount of health, but 
No. Oh. Okay, this might actually lead straight off the map. In fact, it might be the it might lead to the uh, western entrance of Grimhold. And of course, there are multiple keys here. Yeah, this is not gonna work. Maybe I shouldn't have saved there. It might have been bad. We might be able to. Oh no, this is bad. This is definitely bad. Yep. What, nine? I took nine damage from that bee? Holy crap. Okay, time for another potion and some lucky dice rolls. Five damage, five damage, ten damage. It's kind of okay. Taking critical hits. It's not okay. Getting attacked by multiple bees. Not okay. Minus seven, another nine damage hit. Take that. <sighs> well, okay, cool. Again, I was going to rest only until the um, heartbeat effect faded. It's probably better this way, though. Good thing we made it through the first night. I guess I really was just getting pretty unlucky with those rests. First couple of rests where I was almost instantly caught by bandits. North, Lake Atria, Darkford. East, Elder Hollow, Eridel. Huh. So this must be through... Grimhold, then. Mustn't it? Grimhold, West Entrance. That is a fast travel point. So does that mean that this leads right into Grimhold? Oh yeah, it does. Interesting. And this place actually has bees. I guess that makes sense. Of course, I don't have to fight this bee at all. I didn't have to, but didn't have to fight this bee at all. But I did. Hmm. It's certainly not just going to be a one straight tunnel, is it? No. Of course not. And we got goblins. You know what? I'm going to definitely check this out at some point. I mean, there's a good chance that the story will send me here anyway, but. Even if not, I'm definitely, definitely going to explore this, needless to say. Just not now. That being said... That being said, I should definitely take this opportunity. And get some more rest. Did I make some money? I guess I did. I suppose I did. I'm definitely going to hold on to these arrows, though. Um, did I? Oh, I guess I never found that other scroll, huh? Yeah. Must have died after that. Three gold. Six gold. How much would I get? Two per arrow? Not worth it. Um, in fact, I have just over a hundred. I mean, yeah, I'll buy fifty arrows. Wait, these are it's the smaller stack. That's fine. Sure. I'll 
keep these around for a more worthwhile enemy, maybe. Maybe if I need to soften up something really tough. Hey, would you please just let me talk to you? Thank you. Okay. Alright, start in here. And I guess we can just fast travel back to the western entrance from right here. Sweet. Should I take a look at the swamp? I, I kind of want to, but I also really want to find Lilith's place and end the episode there. Not bad, all things considered. I've seen worse, for sure. Oh, we have a sign of some sort. Warning, hive infestation to the southeast. Use alternate path. Hive infestation. And we, we saw a hive there. To the southeast, wait. Oh. Kind of where I was planning to go, though. Hmm. Maybe the mean, the, the mean, the, the the main mean beehive is actually going to be in this in this cave down here somewhere. What? No! Don't just misclick, you moron. And still worked out kind of alright. Oh, this is by the... right by the gorge. I mean, there really isn't a lot, a whole lot of room left on this map here for Lilith to be living, so maybe she really is in this cave? Whistling Cave. At the entrance of this cave, you hear the air rushing out, of, uh, out over the jagged rocks, creating a whistling noise that grows to a howl when the wind increases. You notice footprints in the soft red clay at the cave's floor, though it is impossible to tell how long they've been here. Footprints, huh? You don't say. So, I guess she could be living in here. It's not entirely impossible. Do we know anything about her? I mean, I don't know. I, I was kind of expecting her to be some sort of witch. But I'm not sure if I'm making that up or if uh, that has actually been mentioned or something implying that. So her living in a, in a cave in the forest? Certainly not impossible. That being said, since there is only so little left to explore on this map, I guess I might as well get that done. Get that over with. Yeah. It really does look increasingly unlikely that we'll just find her house somewhere off the side here, but it certainly could be. I mean, there really is only the swamp and this tiny little corner here. And then the cave itself. So it's probably going to be the cave. Let's be honest here. And if that is the case, I'm definitely not going to explore that now. I'm mean, that's definitely going to have to wait until next episode. Okay, nothing here. I suppose since my health is looking kind of alright-ish, I'm going to go visit the slimes again. See if maybe they have some some kind of treasure. And I can always quickly return to... Oh, where do you come from? Do they respawn? Maybe they respawn. Ah. 
Oh, we are now less than 1,000 experience away from leveling up, which is nice. I am also suddenly not very healthy anymore. It's also getting evening, so maybe I should... And by maybe, I mean definitely, I should just camp out for the night here, regaining some health in the process, and then hopefully deal with those slimes without any major difficulty. And that's definitely where I'm going to call this an episode, because this has been going on for a while. There are so many of them, though. Oh, also, yeah, bees definitely return. There's no way I missed this one. Oh wow, that was a good crit. I really wish those were more common. Yeah, why don't you come into my range, idiot? And even at an 80% hit chance, I keep missing is... Yeah, I know, I know. 80% is not 100. Please come over here. Or not. Percent hit chance. Somewhat decent. That being said, I should just walk up to it and kill it the normal way, but you know, occasionally this is fine. I keep forgetting to do it in the right order. There we go. Was that all of them? It certainly was most of them. And we Oh, this is not nice. 40 gold pieces is decent, but man, I didn't see that coming. Did I save the game before that? I think I did. Good thing I did. The barrel was full of fungal slime. Sweet. I mean, there's no way I'll survive this. There's how many? They're just gonna kill me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Eight? Eight slimes? Sure. That's not even worth it. God damn it. Okay. That's rough. I don't know if I can even survive that with uh, full health. Maybe just barely? Man, that's... that's nasty. Ouch. Okay. So, I guess... I'll have to do, to do that next. Maybe I'll just go ahead and... Rest here until I'm fully healed and attempt that again. But not now. Not now. So I'm, I'm going to do the resting in between episodes and hopefully I'll be able to pull this off. I, I mean, I really don't know. It's Ultimately it comes down to a matter of luck, of course. Of good dice rolls. Like every single fight in this game. Um... Yeah, for now I'm going to call it an episode here. As always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Did you? Uh, it was kind of... Probably probably kind of boring, honestly. But uh, feel free to tell me what you think. Um, and also leave me a like if you liked it. And uh, I completely messed up, messed up my outro. That's, that's always great. Um, yeah, I, I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>